Hey guys, so my bike is back in the shop again. And this is all in preparation for the Go Roughly Around the World adventure. Um, so I'm okay with that. I wanna make sure that my bike is in tip top shape before we set off on March 5th. Um, but it's in the shop because my back tire um, was having a slow leak. Um, you'll probably see in the, in the more recent On Two Wheels and Four Paws episodes that my back tire was starting to get pretty bald. Um, I've had it on for quite a while and it's, it was time to change it anyways. So when we came back from our last uh, Guatemala trip, um, I knew that I needed to get a new tire. So we've been looking all over for tires here in Guatemala and we've just really been striking out. Normally I use the Heidenau's, the K60 Scouts, um, and I really like them. Some people say that they don't like it because they can be slippery in the rain, but I feel like it's a good on-road, off-road tire and it lasts for a long time. So I was really happy with it but they don't have any here in Guatemala anywhere. And we talked to the, um, the distributor that's in El Salvador and he's not making any trips coming up this way anytime soon to bring new tires. So that's, that's off the list. Somebody did have the Continental TKC 70s, uh, but I felt like they were a little um, too street oriented and not off-road-ish enough. And it's funny coming from me saying that I want an off-road tire, but I know that we're going to be doing quite a bit uh, of off-road here in Guatemala and Mexico leading into the States. And like, I really do want to have more of a 50-50 tire um, to feel like, to feel confident that my, my tires are going to help me on the off-road. So that one I didn't really want. And then somebody else also sells the Anarchy. So there's the Anarchy Wild, I guess, which is the really more off-roady version, um, and then the Adventure. And I guess I'm leaning towards the Adventure. Um, I think that it's a, a good mix. I think the Wild is a little too aggressive for, for the riding that I'm gonna do. And I guess like any long distance rider who wants to do on and off road, it's always sort of that challenge to know like, are you gonna be doing more of one or the other and like what type of tire you should get and so that it will last long. Um, because it would suck to get like knobbly tires and then they just end up getting worn down by the time you actually need to use them. So, and we're gonna be doing like a mixture of stuff from off roading to being on the freeway to doing little side roads like, it's going to be a mix, so I wanted to have 50-50. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the adventure. Um, we're going to wait and see what what we can what we can get in the next few days. Um, if you guys have suggestions on the ones that I mentioned, obviously there's a whole bunch out in the world, but these are the, really the only ones that are available here right now. Um, and so if you've got some sort of opinion on it, let me know. Um, and uh, I should know what we decide on in the next week or so. So hopefully next week I'll be able to share what tire I ended up going with. Okay, guys. Thanks.